Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And as you can see, I've changed location again to see if I can get the best lighting for my reviews, and hopefully this will be the case, seeing as the light is right behind the camera, but I'll probably see when I post-edit this video. But anyway, enough of that. I'm in a t-shirt. Look at this. Spring is finally here. It's about time. I mean, I feel really liberated just not having to wear a thick jumper and have the heating on all the time, so I thought I'd kick back tonight, watch a film, and have a cider that's been sitting in my fridge for a little while. And to be honest, it's one I've never seen before. I got it from my local supermarket, and it's Scrumpy Dog Apple and Pear Cider. Um... I'll have you, well, I'll let you know that this, uh, you know, I've not actually seen this cider anywhere else apart from uh, my local co-op store, so, well, I'm kind of excited to try it and see what I think of it, but, before I do that, obviously, I have to go and give you some details on Scrumpy Dog Apple and Pear Cider. Scrumpy Dog Cider comes in these 500ml bottles, which I do believe is the only way you can get it as well. The alcohol percent is 5% in volume, so a pretty standard strength for a cider we have here. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle if it's going to be sweet or dry tasting, so I'll find out when I get to uh, reviewing it. And the price is actually pretty cheap, well, for a supermarket cider anyway. I managed to get this one from my local co-op store for £1.89, so... That's a pretty good bargain if you ask me, but will the price match the taste? We'll find out shortly. Now, as I said before the description, I don't really know much about this cider. Um, on the back it says that it's produced and bottled by Broadland Winneries Limited uh, from Corston in Norfolk. So, I've not actually seen any other of their uh, wines or if they do indeed do any other ciders. As far as I know, this is the only one that they do. But the interesting thing is this is actually a pider we have because it is an apple and pear cider. So it's actually been quite a while since I've done a pider. So I'm uh, kind of excited to see what this one tastes like. Let's see. What does it say on the front? Uh, scrumpy dog apple and pear cider. D distinctive crisp dry taste. And there's the uh, old logo on the front as well, the old Pitbull Terrier, I think it is. Or a uh, Boxer Dog, something like that, anyway. Um, let's see what it says on the back. Scrumpy Dog Cider is fermented from the juice of apples and pears in the Norfolk village of Corston by Stephen, Jason, Toby and Danny. Phil does most of the sampling and testing. It has a strong bite and needs to be kept on a short leash. Ha ha ha! Oh, those witty people. Serve chilled over ice. No thank you, I don't put ice with my ciders. Um, but I actually really do like this bottle. It's, it's eye-catching, it's different, and also, as you can see there, it has a screw top, so don't even need my bottle opener for this. So, without further ado, let's go and crack this open. Now it said lightly sparkling, and there's the uh, light... Oh, God, I smelt it already! There you go, there's the nice little, uh, nice little top on there. That's a pretty neat addition. I can smell this already. Let's, uh, let's get a whiff. Ah. Alright, well, uh, first impressions aren't actually too good. That just, um, instantly smells of really cheap apple juice. That's, it's, it's really sickly sweet, but also there's, a. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can you're even getting um, cheap pear juice from it as well. Overall, this smells extremely artificial, but I think uh, served chilled over ice kind of uh, gave that away, really. But we'll see in the tasting. Let's go and pull this in the glass and see. Oh, yeah, there's the old uh, lightly sparkling aspect of it. And let's pour this all in. Of course, it's... Uh, it's quite vicious, can you see that? Blimey. Lightly sparkling, I don't blooming think so. Bloody hell. Oh, it's actually dissipating quite quickly, but... There you go, scrumpy dog cider for you. Um, pretty typical cider colour, actually. It's uh, got a lot of hefty carbonation, as you can see. You see all the bubbles just floating up there. If the autofocus decides to actually focus on something, which it's not. Come on, focus. Do this for me. There we go. If I get my finger in, it kind of shows it. But yeah, nice uh, light golden colour, but um, I think they were kind of lying when they said there was... Um, it was uh, lightly sparkling. Look at that. That's just really, really hefty. So I'm going to be belching a lot. Let's go and get a whiff in the glass anyway. Uh, yeah, this just smells really artificial. 
ex extremely sweet scents as well. As I said uh, from the bottle, it just smells of um, really cheap apple and pear juice and they've just, you know, crammed it in. Which is kind of surprising because they say it's made from um, apples and pears, you know, like, not with. So they've not, like, just put concentrated pear juice and stuff in it. Yeah, from the juice of apples and pears. Very weird. <laughs> I guess there's one thing to do and that's just to, um, well, get a taste. So, cheers guys and here's to, uh, well, scrumpy dog cider. Hmm. I don't quite know what to make of that, actually. Um, as soon as it hit my lips, I was just hit with sweetness. Just nothing else. You could just taste the sugar. Um, sugar or sweetness or something that they've um, added into this cider. But after that, it was a really strange taste. I'm just going to have to get a second opinion just, just to figure out what that taste was. It doesn't really taste of anything, if I'm being quite honest. There's uh, a slight hint of um, almost like a like bruised, like a, a bruised apple taste. Like something's not quite right with the apple. And uh, you're also getting a slight hint of that with the pears as well. But it just all tastes a bit off, <laughs> if um, that makes any sense at all. There's just something not quite right with the taste of this. Um, oh, I'm going to belch already. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, no surprise. Look at this carbonation. Let's get another taste. Yeah, there is something in this drink that just isn't sitting well with me at all. I think it's just the slight hint of like musty, well, offness, I, you know, there's a, not mouldy, it's not like a, a mouldy apple taste, but it's almost like it's an overripe taste. It's, it sometimes get a little bit of, um, a little bit of like, you know, bitterness when something's like, like an apple's gone overripe. You're getting kind of that and it's quite off-putting actually, especially seen as um, you're initially hit with all that sweetness on the initial taste. Um, it's left my mouth feeling relatively dry, actually, so I'd go so far as to say this is trying to be a medium cider, but... Oh, excuse me, so full, of, so full of gas from that. But um, it's kind of failing in that respect, because all you can really taste throughout is just sweetness, and it just leaves you with a slight hint of dryness. But apart from that, there's actually nothing else going for this cider, which is kind of surprising, because, you know... The few piders that I've actually tried have been really nice tasting. They've had going, you know, quite a lot of flavours because you know they've got two types of fruits in it. But I mean, this is uh, I don't know. There's, it's just not quite right, if I'm being honest. It's got a, a thick, thick syrupy consistency to it as well which um, indicates to me that the, it, it is an artificially, you know, an industrially made cider. Um, it really, there, there doesn't seem to be any, like, real qualities about this at all. So, you know, I mean, I suppose it's no surprise, really, seeing as I've managed to get this off the um, store shelves. Although, having said that, you can get a couple of real ciders off the supermarket. So, my hopes have kind of been dashed with this one. I was looking forward to trying it and really... It's not lived up to the hype, unfortunately. I love the bottle. The bottle design's lovely, but uh, I'd rather you get the drink right before, you know, fiddling about with a bottle. But, oh well, let's get a uh, final taste before the final verdict. Mm. And yeah, the more that I'm drinking it, the more that it's just turning into a... Um, you know, just a naff industrially made cider. You're getting the gumminess at the back. You're, all you're tasting is um, sweetness, as I've said already. And 
you like concentrated apple and pear juice as well that they've um, added into the glass. So, yeah, kind of disappointed with that, but oh well. It was worth a shot, wasn't it? So, unfortunately, um, it's not a bad, you know, it's not a, like an awfully tasting cider. I mean, I will happily finish the glass, but, you know, there's a lot better tasting ciders out there. So, in that respect, I'm going to go and give Scrumpy Dog Apple and Pear Cider a 4 out of 10. Um, the one redeeming feature about it is that it was quite cheap at £1.89 as well. So, if you're not bothered about... You know, as I've said before, if you're not bothered with having like your taste buds exploded with all these amazing flavours, then I can see this appealing to people because it is relatively thirst quenching as well, seeing as, you know, it's got, you know, like juicy tastes to it, albeit very fake ones. So, yeah, if you're if you're going for a, just any cheap cider that you can find, if you see this, then go for it. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Excuse me, and I'm definitely not stopping belching either. <laughs> anyway, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Well, Pie the Drinker this time. Oh dear. Gaseous as well. Hope you liked it, and I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, as I said already, I am uh, actually going to go and finish off this glass of Scrumpy Dog Apple and Pear Cider. So, until next time guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.